So this is going to be a quick demonstration and explanation of how the butterfly style drive base uh, works and was designed. Yes. Okay, so um, essentially the, the main advantage here is we have the ability to switch between Mechanum wheels and Coulson's. So the Mechanum wheels provide much greater mobility since we can strafe and the gear ratio also means we can move faster, but we don't have traction and we can't really do terrain. However, when we flip down the Coulson's, then we activate higher traction so we can push other robots around, and we have the advantage of having a drop center, which means we can basically just go over a lot of a lot more complex terrain, including uh, in this game the uh, the, the parking area, the the, plat the platforms. And we're only going for bronze; we're not aiming to go for silver or gold. So, essentially, the way this works is if we take a look at these four motors. Four motors, right. So there's one here, one here, one here, and one here. And they're all mounted within the GoBuilda style U-beams. And each one has a bevel gear set that leads to a sprocket and chain, except the chain's not catted. And the chain leads to the main uh, mechanum drive shaft. So in the default configuration, um, as the as the motors drive, then we got the we, we basically just have a standard mechanum drive base with four outputs, one in each one. Um, and you might notice that back here on the other side of the mechanum wheel is a second sprocket, and this one is connected to uh, a smaller sprocket on the Coulson drive shaft. And what's interesting is this this frame right here, which would likely be water jet or CNC milled, it doesn't really matter, it's just a custom part. Um, so that is free rotating around this shaft right here back by the mechanum wheels. So that means over here in the front, this Coulson wheel is free to travel up and down, and I'll demonstrate that just in just a second if my computer's graphics card can handle that. <laughs> um, and the, the main important thing here is we want the two Coulson wheels on each side to move in unison. And that's what these custom gears are for. So it's basically an integrated, spro uh, an integrated spur gear that's built into the water jet um, frame for the two wheels. Right, I promised a demonstration and let's see if I can follow through on that. So if we go over to this side, uh, you can see there's this one pushing arm thing and it's connected to a 20 kilogram centimeter servo. Uh, so that means for one centimeter of movement, it can output 20 kilograms of force. And in this case, the total movement is only about eight millimeters. And in fact, the further it gets up and down, the higher its force gets because it's got, uh, it's, it's moving at a slower, it's moving slower vertically because the up and down motion follows like a sinusoidal curve. Oh, sorry for the background noise if there's any. In any case, uh, so when this flips down, then that's gonna push both of these down together since they're locked together with this uh, spur gear. Right. So this rotation here happens over, I think I mentioned eight millimeters, 20 kilogram centimeters of output means uh, that that's enough with two servos to push a 50 kilogram robot, like lift up a 50 kilogram robot. And I think it's pretty safe to say that we're within that, but just in case, I don't know, we'll, we'll, there, there's like a safety factor. Um, right, so Another nice thing is these servos generally have a slightly greater than 180 degree rotation while in tracking mode, so not continuous rotation mode, uh, meaning that we can have this kind of lock position at the, uh, at the top and bottom. So right now it's at the top and these wheels are, uh, you can see that if I just do like a highlight curve thing, you can see the mechanum wheels go about a, it's a little bit more than a sixteenth of, a cent, uh, 16th of an inch um, below the Coulson's. But if, say, we were to activate these two servos, then, uh, fingers crossed this works. Right, so yeah, these rotate down. I'll try to get a smoother rotation up and down. And that drives down the Coulson wheels. And if we flip back over to here, then this distance, it's again, roughly a little bit more than a 16th of an inch, but this time the opposite direction. So now we've got lowered center wheels for greater pushing power greater uh, terrain capabilities, but slower movement and less maneuverability. That's essentially everything cool about this chassis. Um, 
and the drive base. Oh, one thing is basically everything except for these parts, these water jet parts and a couple of 3D printed pieces, everything matches the GoBuilder standard. So you can order all of these parts on the GoBuilder website, um, except for, of course, the Rev Robotics Rev Expansion Hub. Um, but right, yeah, so we've just got two stacked back here and uh, wire management is kind of tricky. It's a little bit, it'll be a little bit difficult to get wires through here, but that's not important in this ad challenge. I'm, I don't know, cool. That's, that's about it.